I love no vet. I love net IQ. You got net IQ on my novel. You got novel in my net IQ. Amazing. Fantastic. Two great companies that work great together. The new net IQ. Industry leading identity, security, and systems management solutions. That's one powerful combination. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jay Gardner, President and General Manager, NetIQ. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for taking the time to come to BrainShare 2011. I know many of you traveled from far away. It was great to begin meeting you last night and over the last couple days. Look forward to getting to know you over the week. So this morning I want to talk to you about the powerful combination that is NetIQ. But first of all, I'd like to talk to you about a little bit of cultural change. I hope I'm still plugged in. Okay, good. So like you saw in the video, but with a little more planning, we've combined the capabilities of NetIQ with the former Novell to create the largest, most focused, independent software vendor in the identity, security, and service management space. This powerful combination has resulted in a $350 million company that's driven to provide exceptional customer service, strong vision, and the technical expertise to help you securely deliver and manage your computing resources across physical, virtual, and cloud environments. Bringing these organizations together has resulted in very little product overlap and broadens the NetIQ portfolio dramatically. At NetIQ, we pride ourselves on being large enough to deliver the technology that our customers need, but also small enough to care and help you be successful. If you're a Heritage NetIQ customer or a Heritage Novell customer, we want to assure you that the technology, the vision, and the resources are here, and we're focused to deliver. We're not canceling any products or scrapping any roadmaps, but rather we're focused on improving and supporting the products and solutions that you already own, and we're actively working on new, innovative solutions to address your future needs. NetIQ has the scale, the scope, as well as the strategy to deliver today and going forward. To give you an idea of our scale, we have 80 offices around the globe. We're headquartered in Houston, Texas. We have additional key development locations in Toronto, Canada, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Vienna, Virginia, Raleigh, North Carolina, and Bangalore, India. And we have a key location right down the road in Provo, Utah, as many of you know. Approximately 1,600 employees to serve you, 700 engineers, and nearly 1,100 total technical staff that are dedicated to building, testing, and delivering high-quality and innovative new solutions. In addition to our 250 sales professionals, we have a strong partner ecosystem, many of whom are here with us this week, and you'll be seeing a lot of their solutions in the exhibit hall and throughout presentations in the week. But they're here to help you identify uh, with, with uh, how to be successful with our identity management, our security, and our service management solutions. In short, we are large enough to deliver and small enough to care. Now, with that background on NetIQ, let's take a look at the scope of our combined capabilities. The products can be grouped into three distinct categories. Identity, security, and compliance management, service management, and resource management. Identity, security, and compliance management products ensure that policies and regulations are correctly and consistently enforced across your enterprise. Some of the key products in this group include Identity Manager, Access Manager, Sentinel and Security Manager, Change Guardian, and Directory Resource Administrator. 
Application Manager, Aegis, and Operations Center are products that allow you to create an environment where IT operations are aligned with the business priorities. These service management products enable you to effectively measure, automate, and optimize across your physical, virtual, and cloud environments and give those IT services meaning to your business as well as report on compliance with those uh, regulatory authorities. Resource management, our third category, featuring Cloud Manager and the Plate Spin offerings. These products help provide solutions to help you simplify the management in a virtualization environment as well as cloud environments. Our overall strategy is to provide solutions that allow organizations to balance that need of control while providing that flexibility that's demanded by the users. Our approach at addressing this challenge is to make server workloads, systems management, and IT processes more automated and intelligent. We call our unique approach Workload IQ, the intelligent way to secure, manage, measure workloads across physical, virtual, and cloud environments. And this is not simply a vision, but this is a reality that we're delivering today. In fact, we already have customers taking advantage of the powerful combination offered by these new combined capabilities. And you're going to get a chance to see a lot of those this week. In fact, we're going to show you a couple of those right now in a couple of demonstrations. First one we're going to take a look at is a combination of Change Guardian and Sentinel. And I'm going to introduce a couple of people to join me on stage, Rick Wagner and Brian McKee. Come on out, folks. Thanks, Jay. So we're going to talk about a few of our products today. And uh, you know, we're going to play it sort of as uh, Acme, the insurance company. And so at Acme, we, we have a large distributed environment. And a lot of this environment uh, is distributed out to our field agents, out to remote offices, et cetera. And these systems that are out there uh, have the potential to, to have personally identifiable, identifiable information or customer data that pass through them. So from a security perspective, it's, it's really of great concern who can access these systems, who can monitor these systems, who can touch them, et cetera. And so one of the key things that we have to do to meet compliance standards is to actually be able to monitor, uh, monitor administrator access to these, this environment. And we really want to know who's touching what, how they're touching those systems, and what they're doing on them. And so we actually use Sentinel and Change Guardian to, to be able to provide this type of monitoring uh, that we do. So Rick, could you actually take us through and show us how we do this uh, using the combination? Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and log into uh, Novell Sentinel here. Uh, I, Rick, I thought we were using NetIQ Sentinel. You know, you are right. Let me make a little quick change here. There we go, NetIQ Sentinel. <laughs> Looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and log into uh, Sentinel. And one of the new features that we're going to use is the baseline and trending feature to be able to look for access to the sensitive file systems that Brian had described and be able to look for anomalies and uh, different types of access to those file systems and make sure that people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Within the particular security intelligence dashboards, we have things like contractor activity, user account modifications, web activity, et cetera. But we're going to pay particular attention to, th to uh, the sensitive resource access and look at access to file systems. So right here, we see a little blip here. And I'm just going to highlight this area. And within this, within this area, we can see different categories of file system access. So things like modifying data, deleting data, querying data. But I'm really more interested in the modification of the data, because I want to look for unmanaged change to data within the, sensitive, within the sensitive store. So within that, I looked at the category. And now I'm going to actually drill down into specific events that cause this anomaly to occur. So I can see that the events are going to be displayed over in this window here. And there, easily, it shows me how I've looked. I found the anomaly. And here's the events that have caused the problem to occur. So Rick, I'm seeing a lot of data here. So, so how did we get this data into the system? So the way we, get, we got the data into the system is we integrated Change Guardian, specifically the file integrity monitoring components of Change Guardian. So if we look real quick at that, we can see that we've set up a policy within Change Guardian to monitor the files, monitor specific directory stores, look for specific types of things like file reads and writes, looking at particular users, and then being able to classify that data so that when we capture it within Sentinel and we start to report on it, we can 
show exactly what types of file system accesses are occurring. So, so we've got centralized policy administration around how we do file integrity monitoring. Correct. Awesome. So when you were highlighting this data, I noticed there's a username there. So who is this user that's making all these changes in our environment? So that's one of the, the key features that we have within Sentinel is how we integrate and provide context to the data, specifically identity context. So as you can see, we have a user Brad here. But to get additional information about Brad, I can actually select the events, go under Event Operations, and show the identity details and how we actually take identity stores from various identity management pro providers and integrate that identity information directly into the security events to show who has been accessing this particular data. So we can see Brad, who's the infrastructure manager in information technology, is the person who's done this. And then we can even start to drill down and look at things like who his manager is so we get even more information as to the impact of the organization. So, so with this manager there, is there a way we could actually generate a report that we could send to her with, without a lot of work? Now, Rick, remember, managers like pretty pictures. And so we don't want a lot of right details. Here, guy. Be careful. Manager's right there. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that's one of the things that we did in Sentinel is to be able to very easily create reports through what we call our one-click reporting. So since I have these events selected, I'm simply going to go to this particular option, save it as report, and now I can easily create a report based upon many of the out-of-the-box templates that we have so that we can actually create a nice pretty picture report for Jay. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a report name of Powerful Combination. Hopefully I spelled that correctly. I don't think I did. And I'm going to pick, uh, go ahead and do visualization. I'm going to pick the template of event summary. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some things. Actually, we picked the wrong one here, event details. So I'm going to um, go ahead and select month to date. So I get all the information so far this month. And something like IP addresses don't really mean much to managers. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the host name so that they know exactly where Brad's been doing information for the specific data store itself. I can go down here and automatically email the report to them. And I'm going to run this report so that Jay will get it immediately and be notified when the report comes. I think I misspelled something there as well. So now that I've created the report, that report now is now generating. And then when I go over to the Reports tab, um, after the report gets through running, I'm going to see the report here, and I'm actually going to be able to look at the report and see the types of data. But the idea is that we make it very simple, very easy for people to create reports out of the data that, comes, that, um, that they can actually extract from the various systems itself. So hopefully my report will show up here pretty quickly. And there it is. And I open this report up. So now that's how easy it was for me able to take the, the events that I selected and go ahead and create a report for, for my manager. Now, now Rick, <laughs> you know, Jay spends a lot of time on an airplane. He's out visiting our customers all the time. But what happens if, you know, we want to know about this much faster than waiting on somebody to read a report? So is there a way we could actually easily be notified if this type of activity occurs again? So one of the things within Sentinel has always been a very powerful correlation engine to be able to look at, at specific events, correlate them, and provide notification. One of the things that we've added in Sentinel 7 is a new graphical rule builder, making it very much easier to uh, take the value of, of Sentinel 7 and utilizing the correlation engine. So with the same event selected, I'm going to simply say create a correlation rule. And now I bring up the power uh, the uh, correlation rule builder, and I can now start to select particular items out of this event that has already occurred and build that correlation rule. So I can take things like the source host name, simply drop and drag it onto the, um, the correlation rule builder. I can add sub rules. And even if I wanted to freeform the expression, it's very graphical in nature. It makes it very easy for administrators to take advantage of the, of the powerful correlation engine in Sentinel-7. Wow, that is easy. So, You know, what we, what we just sort of saw was a situation where we knew we had to monitor something. And we started collecting a lot of the data. We used Change Guardian to provide a lot of that data for us. But the real problem in it is we didn't know exactly what we were going to end up monitoring. So we didn't know that we needed to create specific rules out of the box. But by using the anomaly detection or the, and the baselining engine, we were able to start seeing what type of access is normal in our environment. By drilling into it from there, we can then go in, deliver, deliver very simple looking reports out to management create correlation rules that provide very easy notification of this activity as it occurs. 
So at the end of the day, Sentinel-7, NetIQ Sentinel-7, and Change Guardian actually do provide a really powerful combination that allows us to be much more mature in how we monitor and address the access to information and systems in our environment. Back to you, Jay. Gentlemen, that is a powerful combination. Thank you very much. I, I think I'd also point out, for those of you who are customers of Sentinel and are using earlier versions, or customers of Security Manager, Heritage NetIQ product, there'll be no upgrade when you move to the new release, basically no upgrade fees. As long as you're on maintenance, you get this at no charge. So I thought that might be good news for you.